the apocalypse is here. I'm giving you all the tea now. I'm not saying this anywhere but on my vlog because I feel like beautifully bronzed, vibey. So there was a lot going on yesterday in the group chat. We're home from the gym, lads, I feel like a new woman. Good morning, good morning, happy Monday! Today is a very exciting day. First of all, I'm going back to the gym. My gym is back open this week for training, like, so I can go myself. And my slot is at half ten, you have to like book a slot. <laughs> I've booked up for the next two weeks, honeys, you know me. Love to do these things. Why is it cold down here? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Are you getting up? Oh, you're stretching. Oh, you're stretching. Oh. 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 Are you getting up? Like, are you staying there? Are you staying there? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Watch that. should follow me out. Oh, yeah. Look, there she is now. Good morning, Lexi. There's not only really one exciting thing to have to do today. Go on, go. I also have my hair appointment. And that is very exciting. Like, sorry, I'm just filling up my water because it's actually half nine and my appointment, my slot is at half 10 and Kate's coming, not to the gym. But she, her phone, like totally mercury retrograde situation. She woke up yesterday and her phone was off. Like she's an iPhone and her phone was just like a white screen with the black Apple logo. Now granted she did have like an iPhone 7 I want to say. So it could have been Apple, you know, doing the thing where they just make the phone dead but also it's Mercury Retrograde. So I tried to fix her phone for her yesterday because I'm the techie girl of the friend group, you know? Um, but I wasn't able to. <laughs> so that was that. And she's getting a new phone this morning. So she's gonna walk down with me to get her new phone while I walk down to go to the gym. That's, I'm so excited. I'm also getting my hair done today. It doesn't look bad now. But like, oh, here we go, when I'm in the light. You can't really see, I'll put a before clip. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of breakfast, get ready for the gym. Lads, I'm so, oh, she's crying now. Watch, she's crying. Why is she crying? Lexi, get down. No, 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 you're not making that noise. Come on, get down. Get down. Come here. Come here. Look at her. She's sitting at the top of the stairs crying like. Lexi, come on. Oh. Oh. Do you want me to lift you? Look at her again. Go on, jump. Ah. I just can't go with her now at all. So yeah, I need, I'm going to the gym. I'm so excited, lads. Go to a gym, I'm gonna sprint. I'm gonna have such a good gym session. I'm so excited. So today's plan of action. That's I'm so excited about July. Today's plan of action is get ready now, go to the gym, sprint my life away, do my plan. Because Kiki has given me a new or a gym plan. And so my gym, I'll be finished that around half eleven. I have to come home shower and I have my hair appointment at three. Oh my god here you can see look look at the ends they're like red right then the middle is like a black colour and the top then is all roots you can't really see but it's horrendous just take my word for it okay trust me home from the gym lads I feel like a new woman like you've no idea sorry the kettle's boiling now but I feel like, no one can tell me shit today, you know? Will I give you the rundown? I know you all want the rundown. So I went into the gym, and so the whole crack with my gym is you, they have an app and you have to book on the app your time slot. 
sorry, I'm just making my post workout fucking mess quick. Sorry, I'll put you up here now. Balance you on the blender. Oh, hello. Hello, chest. Hello. So, yeah. So basically, 80 grams is my post workout, like a double serving of Nesquik. Do we love that for me though? But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so you have to book your slot for the gym. So I booked half 10. So you have to be there within 10 minutes of your slot or else you don't get in because they actually close the doors, which I kind of like because you don't have the whole thing of like people walking in and out of the gym then, um, you know, seeing can they come in to train or whatever. So, yeah, went in, I had a brand new plan from Kiki, like a gym plan. So, I was gonna do legs, but then I was like, do you know what? My legs are just recovered after last Wednesday's session with Brendan. So anyway, yeah, I was like, do you know what? I won't do legs because I, like they were just recovered. So I was like, I'll do my legs tomorrow. Um. So I did upper, what did I do? Um, back and shoulders. I, oh my God, the burn, like, but it was such a good workout. And then I finished it off with 10 minutes of sprints with so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Just because I was dying to do some sprints. Like I'm not a runner. I don't go for runs. Like I would never be like, oh, let's go for a run. Do that kind of way. It's just not my vibe. But I do love sprints in the gym, uphill sprints, uphill walking, Stairmaster, like that is my, oh. But yeah, basically I'm gonna get my hair done at three. So my appointment's at three. So I'll have to leave at half two because I'm walking down. It's half twelve now, so I have two hours. So I do have time and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go for a full body shower. Obviously not gonna wash my hair before I get it done. And I'm so excited to get my hair done. I don't even know what I'm doing. I might just keep it brown. No, I do. I can't, part of me wants the e-girl blonde streaks at the front of my hair. But I only want them if they can be relatively blonde. Like, I don't want two orange chunks. So I'm going to see, I'm going to go down today and be like, look, if I get this done, like, is it, can you lift my hair to a relatively blonde colour? Or will I just have two yellow streaks at the front of my head? Because that's not cute. So I'm hoping to do that because I just think it'd be fun and fresh and just something new. And if I don't like it, I can always dye it back and I can mix it up. You know, I can put the two front pieces like pink and stuff. I don't know. It's just, it's been a long four months and I feel like being creative, but I don't want to bleach my whole head and I don't want to get highlights. So that's my logic. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard lads my hair is done my hair is done my hair is done i'm gonna try and get into good light so i can show you so basically i have like the front part like a more lighter chocolatey brown Wait, you can see now so the front part's like a more lighter chocolatey brown and then the back is just like a darker brown oh my god it feels so good i was gonna go lighter like blonde at the front but basically because my hair was blue black before this, we couldn't go lighter, obviously, because, you know, bleach has to lighten hair and the hair basically lightened unevenly. So the top where the roots are lightened perfectly because obviously it was virgin hair. Oh yeah, you can see it here. So it's like kind of chocolatey in the front and then, yeah. Anyway, so the front lightened, or the top lightened better because obviously it was virgin hair, it was root. Um, and sorry i'll sit down and chat to you because i haven't it's also tuesday by the way hey happy tuesday um oh yeah you can see it now so see how the front's kind of like lighter anyway and then yeah so basically happy tuesday so i didn't vlog yesterday because basically i was in the hairdresser and 
Number one, obviously in the hairdresser. I was gonna do like a whole hair vlog, but then obviously coronavirus. So when you go in, you have to wear a mask, you have to sanitize, you have to be in a station, all your belongings have to be in a plastic bag. And like, I didn't, like I got a few like vlog shots on my phone, but like I couldn't vlog properly. So the hair vlog didn't happen. But basically, I wanted to put the front blonde like e-girl style but then obviously I couldn't put the front blonde because remember how I showed you the bands of my hair I'll put a clip here basically my hair when I got it done was like the top was root the middle was like a band of darker color because I was blue black and then the ends were light because the blue black had actually been stripped from the ends because the ends were like dead and dry so we did that um, but obviously it didn't lighten evenly and then my appointment was at 3 last night so obviously I was finished at 6 so I went away yesterday evening with my hair not fully done which like I didn't mind at all I wasn't going anywhere anyway you know global pandemic so then I went back this morning and we put in this chocolatey warm brown colour in the front so it's like it's a subtle change but I actually really like it. And then obviously as my hair grows, I did get a cut as well. So it's lovely and fresh at the ends. And I got like the front bits, kind of like a curtain fringe kind of vibes. Anyway, so, cause I was gonna go full fringe and then I was like, no, Rebecca, you'll hate it in a week. So basically my plan is going forward with my hair to keep the back lovely and dark. And then to keep see this oh yeah you can see it here see how lovely and light that is so every time i go in i'm gonna kind of lighten lighten the front gradually as to not snap all my hair off mia on social media and vlogging last night because i didn't want to vlog when my hair was only half done and i didn't want like it to look bad on where I get my hair done because I love where I get my hair done and they always do a fantastic job so I didn't want to come on until my hair was fully done but now we're back so yesterday <laughs> I went to the gym it was amazing like so good and then basically I came home from the gym and I was helping Kate set up her phone because Kate's like tech phobe like can't do phones so she ended up buying an iPhone 11 yesterday and I went with her because she can't do phones and then she came here and I helped her set it up which took a while um, and then in the middle of that we get a text from Mackenzie. Mackenzie is one of my best best friends I've literally known her my entire life like entire life so she sorry the phone's ringing now and again I'm not gonna answer it like let's just let's just wait so Mackenzie lives in Dubai. She lives and works in Dubai and she moved over last September. Now she was home at Christmas, but we didn't think she was gonna get home this summer because of Miss Coronavirus. But basically she texted into the group yesterday a picture and she was like, guess where I am? So she's home, but obviously she's quarantining at the moment. So we're going to hers on Sunday for a barbecue. So there was a lot going on yesterday in the group chat, which got me all frazzled and then my hair, and I also have my period, which is so strong. So then last night, I basically just got a massive headache and went to sleep. So you didn't miss much, you didn't miss much. But I just did a food shop actually. Will we do a little food shop haul? I know you love them. I always kind of switch up my cereals and I always make sure they're the same macros. So these are along the same lines of Nesquik. So golden nuggets, I am a child, taste buds of a child. Then I got the oat milk, the Oatly. Remember last week I showed you I got the Oatly, lads? It literally tastes so good, so I got another one. And then I got this authentic Italian pasta sauce for my mince, or mint sauce, or tomato sauce, or whatever it is. It's literally so authentic, like it's all Italian on it. I always go to the little Italy section in the grocery store and kind of get, oh, you can really see how light my hair is in this light. Anyway, so I always kind of go into the grocery store and pick out an Italian looking thing. So this says basil, tomato with basil, basically. Um, so we got that and then I think that's kind of all I got really. Um, but anyway, I went to Boots as well because I needed new body wash because remember how I was using the Sol de Janeiro body wash? 
which was amazing but it was 25 euro and I couldn't justify spending that so now I'm back to the soap and glory one but the soap and glory one just wasn't moisturizing enough like you probably can't see because I haven't moisturized but like naturally the skin on my body would be more on the dry side um so I wanted to get a more moisturizing body wash so I picked up this one the Maui moisture I've tried these before, but this one is a body wash, extra hydrating, it says, and shea butter. So it's for very dry skin. And it says, uh, soften, quench, revive, shea butter, coconut oil, and macadamia oil. Oh, and it smells absolutely fabulous. So I got that. And then I got new toothpaste. I said I'd try this one, because I always see Jackie Ina using this one. So it's the Arm & Harm Hammer Baking Soda Toothpaste um, with activated charcoal. So I said I would try this. And it was also on offer. It was, you know me, you know I love a bargain. The toothpaste was half price, so it's normally 4 50 and I got it for 2 50 or something. Anywho, um, so that's exciting. I'm absolutely starving though, I'm so hungry. I need to show Instagram. I'd say people on Instagram think I've disappeared. <coughs> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking up, now I'm thinking up Buy the cottage room and blues Yeah, I wanna Drown myself inside the juice Yeah, you know I Keep on running from the truth Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you Now when I drive around, don't feel it all Why it's getting colder when the sun comes blurry what's going on hello 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 everybody good morning from me and my super shiny super shiny hair how are we all doing happy wednesday it is pissing rain oh <laughs> like it's so gray and rainy and i have to walk to the gym uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna close that, but of course, I love the way my window opens like this because I can have it open when it's raining. And I can air out the room, you know? You know me and airing out the room, lads. Airing out the room is key. Uh, good morning. It's not morning. It literally couldn't be more morning. It's two o'clock. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hi, how are we all doing? Do you know what, actually? Someone commented on my recent vlog saying that they love my vlog style and I kind of love that for me because I always think my vlog style is kind of strange and very unesthetic. <laughs> like, I'd love to do all those little montages with the music and stuff like that, but, you know, I I'm, I'm, don't do anything relatively interesting enough to do a montage but thank you <laughs> because I don't know like I know my vlog style like I literally go through all the days of my week and kind of say what day it is and like I know a lot of people don't vlog like that they kind of vlog and make it into a weekly vlog but it might let's say be like a Thursday Friday Saturday whereas mine is like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday unless I don't vlog a day which rarely happens but anyway it kind of made me think and I was like, do you know what, Rebecca, you're very overcritical on yourself and like stay original because it's a vlog style. Like everyone has their own style of filming and editing and stuff. So thank you to whoever commented that because it really made me feel the love, you know. 
I say it's morning because I'm only having my monster now because I have my gym session at three. It was supposed to be at half ten. But then last night I got sucked into a hole on YouTube of... I've been reading a lot into like the world and the whole Great Awakening thing and like what's about to happen with like the powerful people in the world and a lot of cases and something to do with pizza. If you know what I'm talking about, you know when I say the word pizza what I'm talking about, you know. I just, I don't want them to come for me. I don't want them to come for me. So I got sucked into like this 10 part series on YouTube. Um, I'll put the name here if you want to search it. 1 to 10, you can do so. Do it your own discretion. I don't want to get too into it because like, I like, you know, I like to make up my own mind about things and I think everyone should. I don't think you should be influenced by... This is actually kind of hilarious because I was about to say I don't think you should be influenced by what someone says on the internet. But I just watched a 10 part series last night from someone on the internet and I wasn't influenced by it. But they like just show you evidence and kind of let you make up your own mind. Like I would never tell people what to think you know but anyway I got sucked into the whole pizza situation at 12 o'clock last night went to bed at 4 a.m so I was like do you know what Rebecca the beauty of being unemployed well I'm not mm, eh. I use that word loosely and working from home because I, I do work I work so I work 40 plus hours a week like don't worry it's all coming it's all coming it's all coming because I know a lot of people are like, you work 40 hours a week, but like you call yourself unemployed, like what are you talking about? I don't earn a full time wage yet, honey. Okay? It's coming. But anyway, so I work a lot, but also all of my work is from home. Like 100%, like before it was like 80%, no, before it was like 70%, now it's 100% like. Um, so what I did last night is, oh my God, I'm actually so extra. But obviously I got my hair done. Like as you can see, I explained this all to you yesterday. Let's not talk about it again. But I wanted to do like a hair reveal on my Instagram. I just wanted to be extra, okay? And when I got my hair done, I was like, I kind of feel like Parisian for some reason. I don't know, Paris was just coming to me like French girl, curtain bangs, like, I don't know. I just felt very French, je ne sais quoi, you know? So I had this vision then because my mind is like a constant stream of content, content, content. How can I create content? How can I make this into content? Um, and I feel like if you're in any way creative, you know that like some weeks you're just so inspired and you can find content out of anything. And then other weeks you're like, why do I even call myself creative? Like I have nothing, you know? <laughs> So yesterday when I got my hair done I had this whole vo vision of like this video that I wanted to make so I made like I made a video on my Instagram I'll put my Instagram down below and maybe show you a little clip of the video without music though because I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted um but and I made like this French post and I had like oh the post was just very vibey in my opinion but like I had 10 minutes of footage of me videoing myself like and like just with my hair being like you know sexy French Vogue give it to me it, it looked better than that but anyway, I had 10 minutes of footage and I edited it down to 26 seconds which if you've ever edited anything in your life you know that takes a while so I did that all yesterday evening and then I put up the post on Instagram and like because I was so extra I was like oh my god hair reveal coming soon like I'd say people thought I like scalp bleached my hair Joe that kind of way and I didn't <laughs> I did not as you can see but it got like really high engagement and what does engagement do on Instagram it boosts my post it boosts my posts to more people's so like more people that follow me actually see my post because the funny thing is when you post on Instagram like 1% of people it's shown to 1% right? I think it's actually less than 1% of your following. 
so for me that would be like 500 people and if those people don't engage with the post so either like comment share share is a big one uh save if they don't do any of that then it doesn't get showed to more people but then say if the one percent all like are liking commenting sharing then it gets shown to more and more and more and more and more so people who mightn't see my posts regularly would see them so that's right i clean my whole room actually i did a little montage for that i was look at actually i never showed you sorry i my dad bought me this like fake plant it's sunflowers but i just thought it was really cute um, but yeah, I cleaned my whole room. Obviously, there's a blanket on the floor now that I kicked off my bed while I was sleeping. But other than that, like, I full-on organize. Like, that's my diary on the floor. But other than that, she's clean. My gym was supposed to be at half ten, but I realized last night, I was like, right, I want to stay up and I want to wash this whole thing. So I won't get to sleep till four. So the beauty of working from home is that I could decide in my head okay I can sleep in tomorrow so I'll change my gym till three so that's what I'm doing so I have my gym at three it's now ten past two and then I need to come home and I need to film a YouTube video like like there's supposed to be a Wednesday video going up today it is Wednesday but I don't know what I want to film like I was gonna do a hair transformation video but then as I said with the coronavirus like that wasn't possible so I had a video idea actually, but it involves me spending money and going shopping and treating myself. And um, yeah, I can't do that because it's slashing rain and I don't want to walk in the rain. I'm from the gym. My hair is not a vibe right now. I got caught in the rain. Rain on my parade. It's so therapeutic though. I do love the rain sometimes but like not every day you know that can i it really hinders my video ideas because i had a very good video idea but anyway i had another one when i was in the gym this is why i love like working out just with music because it makes me think more but i'm gonna do a video well it'll be up now by the time you're watching this on how i make money on youtube as someone with 2,000 subscribers and I'm literally going to go through like how much I've made per month since I got monetized, how you get monetized, um, my highest earning day, my lowest earning day, my highest earning video, my lowest earning video and all that fun stuff and all the tea because I think obviously it's lockdown and COVID and stuff and I feel like a lot of people either started YouTube channels or are interested in one or just are nosy and want to know how people make cash money dollars. Um, so yeah, I'm spilling all that tea but I need to shower first and get ready because these videos are quite popular on YouTube. So who knows, might go viral. Um, so yeah, I need to shower and sort out this hair situation. Um, and I'm using my new body wash, so I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, I know straight away, kind of when I'm using a body wash in the shower, how it feels like, does it feel like it's just running off my skin or does it feel like it's actually doing something? Like curtain bangs are a great idea until... <laughs> Sorry, I thought I vlogged this morning, but I obviously didn't. <laughs> Because I went to vlog and my camera battery was dead. Sorry, why am I standing near? Let's look what I found. Look, I found my necklace. Oh, they're tangled. I hate when they get tangled. But I found my 9494 necklace. So if you watched last week's vlog, you will know that I lost it. But I actually didn't lose it. I was, this is where I found it. I found it yesterday evening. So it was on top of this book. And you might be like, Rebecca, that's stupid. But see normally i use these books when i'm filming so these books are like my tripod and then that's the filming background you know when i'm chatting so i had put these books back on top of the book without noticing that the necklace was under there and then i took these books off yesterday to film and i was getting something and then i noticed the necklace so that is great, I'm delighted about that. Um, I did ask the universe to 
to help me find the necklace and to bring it back into my life. So I knew it would appear, but I'm so happy because I literally was went to buy another one, but they were sold out. So yeah, um, my hair's kind of got a bit frizzy now from like going to the gym and stuff like that, getting caught in the rain, you know the drill. Happy Thursday. I keep thinking it's Friday today, which is actually lovely because I have work to do today now. I have to edit my YouTube video. Um, my Wednesday video it isn't gone up yet because as I've already said multiple times, I'm putting less pressure on myself to get like a Wednesday upload on Wednesday and a Friday upload on Friday and just put up videos that I like. So the video that I will put up probably this evening is how I make money on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube as a small influencer, kind of how much I make, how much I make a day, all the tea is answered. That is my Thursday morning. Oh, I'm so happy I found this necklace. That's my Thursday morning situation. It's not the morning, it's two o'clock, but I did get up early. I got up at like nine. Went to the gym, my gym slot was half 10 today, and then I went and lodged money into my savings account because my savings account is getting fat. P H A A A A A A A A T. So, yeah, I've become a saver now. It's great. It's great. I would recommend, if you're not already, join a credit union. So, I save all my money in the credit union and I also have a direct debit that goes out of my current account every week so a certain amount so like that money just goes out automatically and then I lodged extra money into it as well because whenever this covid thing happens you know what I'm manifesting you watch the vlogs you know we're trying to move leave the country if you will um so I just when that's gonna happen I want to have a big fat chunk of savings This music's going off, so I don't get copyrighted. Happy Friday evening before you get alarmed. I did not get my brows done and it turned out horrible. I'm currently dying them. So, oh. 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 We love the vibe. Uh, so yeah, I put on tan. I said I put on some tan. Oh my god, my brows look so bad. Um, they're developing, okay? But I got tan in town today because I feel like it's summer and I want a summer sun-kissed glow. Obviously, you all know I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. So like, we didn't go too crazy with the tan. I don't like that look on me. You know, the whole like, I'm Snow White, but then overnight I'm dark chocolate you know that's not the vibe that I go for so excuse the brows but uh be bold smart moose I bought this today in town because Kaylee Kaylee MUA Irish makeup artist queen Irish makeup artist queen always wears this she's a brand ambassador I'm pretty sure she always wears this and her tan always looks like golden glow never too dark and you either leave it for one hour, two hours, or three hours. One hour is softly sun-kissed, two hours is golden glow, and three hours is beautifully bronzed. Beautifully bronzed. So I think I'm gonna go for three hours beautifully, beautifully bronzed, just because my thought process behind this now, just because I feel like I should tell you, is I go to the gym every day. Mo work out most days so I want to see how long this actually lasts um, and I want to get the most out of it I if I think I'm turning too dark I'll take it off but for now it's just on it's not even on an hour and I feel like great you know um, so it's supposed to have a really nice wear off I don't really wear tan too often like I wouldn't wear tan every day just because to be honest I'm lazy <laughs> and like the upkeep and most tans most tans sorry I keep looking at my brows in the viewfinder most tans wear off disgustingly and my skin looks vile and also I'm a huge massive fan currently of dry body brushing 
so I feel like that would kind of take off the tan anyway but I'll keep you updated um it'll probably be in next week's vlog the kind of wear off of it and stuff but so far so good I put on my face as well which was a bit of a dodgy decision you know a bit of a will I won't I but Kaylee does and my thought process behind that is I mixed it with my moisturizer also it's okay to put on your face so I'm hoping it doesn't clog my pores but either way like I have such a vigorous skincare routine morning and night that it's not going to last very long on my face anyway so I said I'd put it on and check but like I am going to do my evening skincare before I go to bed um so yeah that's me I might take off the eyebrow stuff now because I feel like it's been on for a minute oh my brows turned out nice didn't they I love doing my brows myself I feel like it just gives me a new lease of life because when I go into the sun hold on when I go into the sun when my eyebrows are kind of faded my eyebrows literally look blonde there's an Irish tanning brand not going to name names and uh, they always send me PR emails I'm giving you all the tea now I'm not saying this anywhere but on my vlog because I feel like the people who watch the vlogs are the real ones because realistically you've already watched 30 plus minutes and I feel like you know telling the vlog people information like the fact I want to move to Dubai and stuff like that is only reserved for you and if you don't watch the vlogs you don't know the information anyway so an Irish tanning brand I'm not going to name names don't want to get into a scandal always sends me pure emails so during the week I decided to email them back and be like hey just gonna introduce myself if you don't know now you know content creators bloggers Instagram people youtubers do this all the time or they have managers that do it for them so I was like hey um I noticed you always send me emails and I've never actually received anything from you if you'd like to send me out any new products or any PR or anything like that I'd be very open to it and I'd be very open to potentially working with you in the future if I like any of your products and then I sent so I write for a column in the Truly Advertiser. I write a beauty column every week. So I'm a beauty editor basically. And I sent a copy of my recent, I sent a copy of my most, I sent a copy of my most recent column. I sent all my stats, so like my engagement, my Instagram, because my engagement's quite high. Um, my engagement, my Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the stats and everything. Do you want to know the email I got back? So I got the email back today. I think I sent the email Tuesday. Like I'm not really bothered with how long people take to email back because like so many people get so many emails and like sometimes I don't even reply to emails fast so I can't, don't, so like don't throw stones in glass houses, you know, that kind of way. So I'm not going to complain about that. But um, she emailed me back and she was basically like, hey, our gifting limit for this campaign don't know what campaign she's on about because i emailed like in general for any campaigns so she's like our gifting limit for this campaign is actually full um unfortunately but if you'd like to feature our product in your column i could send over some high-res images So in exchange for me writing about your product in my column, you're going to send me high quality images? As if number one, I couldn't Google that myself and like do that myself. Like I don't need you honey to send me specific images to put in. Number two, Like, I'm not saying that everything I write in my column is sponsored or is an ad or is in exchange for a pre free product because it's not. I never guarantee a feature for anything unless I've already used the product and I already love it. But like, you're gonna ask me to feature your product in my column and offer not to send free product because that's work you understand this is all work so like if i was a journalist like 
journalists well technically i am a journalist kind of um they like they all get gifted things because the brands want to be featured in the columns like that's how it works like if you want to be featured you have to gift it so the person can try it because technically if you're a beauty editor like it's expensive to buy all these products you know um so i was just like so i was actually going to get one of because it, it was a tanning brand i think i told you that and i was actually going to try it out because i want to try it out and a lot of people on instagram were very interested in me trying it but that just left left a bad taste in my mouth like why reply like these companies like you don't understand like sending someone free product does not cost them much at all and like they have loads of products free to send out all the time um but it's just funny and like i was just like I have, like i didn't even reply like absolutely not anyway so that's the tea on that one i'm gonna go cook my dinner because i'm quite hungry but I just thought I'd give you some Friday evening tea. I can't stop looking at my brows, I really like them. Absolutely stunning Friday evening now. It's literally just to let all of you know, is it gonna focus on me or? Oh my God, let's look. The sun, this is pure gold an hour now like. Um, but it's actually quarter to 10 at night time. And I never say this. I, I don't think I've mentioned this in the vlogs, but in Ireland in summertime, we get so, much daylight like the sun isn't even set yet and it's quarter to ten and it's literally one of my favorite things about ireland because when i lived in australia i was never aware of this but when i lived in australia i was like wait why why is it getting dark so early and like the maximum it would kind of stay bright till it's like nine but the sun would be already set Whereas like it's literally 25 to 10 at night time and this is the sky, like this is the current vibe. Um, absolutely stunning evening. Saturday TK Maxx vibes, I don't know, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Also muscle, look at that like, tell me I'm not an absolute, sorry. Look at that! My new gym plan paying off. Sorry, guns of steel right here. Anyway, sorry, distracted by my own arm muscles. Um, but yeah, I think I want to go to TK Maxx. Also, Starbucks opened in my town. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Rebecca, why are you excited? You hate coffee. I know. <laughs> but is it weird that I just want to try a Starbucks one? and just see how it goes because I see all these people on Instagram getting like iced feckin coffee with like syrup and stuff and part of me really wants to try it and um, yeah I think that could be a little Saturday morning vibe and obviously then I have to come home and edit this video and also record a podcast <gasps> that's sorry mm. uh, yeah I'm weak for myself. Look at that muscle. Um, but yeah, I have to record my podcast tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna do how to be your own biggest fan. Because it's literally one of like my core beliefs that like everyone should be their own biggest fan. Like no one should be a bigger fan of you than you are of you. Does that make sense? So I might do that for Monday's podcast episode because I need to record it tomorrow because on Sunday, we're going to be Hensie's house for a barbecue. I've actually decided to bake my Kinder cookie bars for that. But I'm gonna bake them Sunday morning so they're fresh. Yes, I know. Like one of the girls is bringing porn star martinis and I'm bringing cookies. So I need to record the podcast tomorrow. I was supposed to do it today, but I just didn't. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna do that tomorrow as well as edit the video because I love giving myself loads of work to do. Uh, so yeah, happy Saturday night time. Friday night even. Come on, one more muscle sex. I think we should do that in the morning. I think I'll get up, do my check-in with Kiki and then go off on a little Saturday morning solo adventure. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Saturday, 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 Saturday. As we can't not do the Saturday song like. As if I was going to start my morning without the Saturday song. Happy Saturday, how are we all? I am tanned, but like bronze, like sun kiss, like I'm not OTT, you know? So I had my shower this morning, washed off my tan, sorry, I just have the kettle boiling. Had my shower this morning, washed off my tan, it came off lovely, and I kind of really like it. Obviously, I don't know how it wears. Okay, now we can start our morning. So I have my big fat glass of water here. You know the drill, hydrate before you caffeinate. Because if you don't know, now you know. Caffeine, aka monster, coffee, whatever, dehydrates your body. So you want to make sure you're hydrated before you consume it. It's Saturday morning, I'm hydrating myself, I'm caffeinating myself. I'm not gonna eat just because a, I'm not hungry, and B, I think I'm gonna fast a bit this morning. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm not hungry. If I was hungry, I'd be eating. There's no magic science. There's no weird date diet tip or anything. I just, I'm not eating. But I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I was looking up last night. <laughs> I literally went onto YouTube and searched best Starbucks drinks. Now, there are a few, but a lot of them are American. And I'm kind of like, if I go into the new Starbucks in Tralee, in County Kerry in Ireland, and ask for some of these things, are they going to look at me like I've 10 heads? Possibly. And yeah, I'm excited for Starbucks. It's so far away though. So, I live on like one side of my town, say. And then there's the town centre, which is like 10 minute walk for me. Amazing. And then there's the other side of the town, which is like, like Starbucks is probably a half hour walk, if not longer, from my house. And some people might be like, oh, Rebecca, that's not really long. But like, it's probably like a five, a seven minute drive, but I don't drive. But yeah, so the McDonald's and the Starbucks are actually beside each other but both of them aren't in the town center. So they're on like the outskirts on the other side of town. Cause everyone's like, oh my God, did you know Starbucks is open? I don't know where I went and someone said it to me. I think it was the gym. And I was like, no, because I'm, I, I don't be over there, you know? The tan on my face didn't really break me out or anything, which is great. It also is kind of washed off because I did my nighttime skincare last night. Oh, I feel like I just need this. I feel like I'm getting tired. I feel like I'm getting tired. It's my go-go juice, like. Oh, also, I think I get my nails done next week. Inga, my amazing nail tech. I've been going to her, like, for six years, seven years, like insane amount of time. Um, wrote to me and she was like, I think I can take you next week. And by I think I can take you, she means like, we have like, my appointments with Inga are hours long because I always let her do whatever she wants to my nails. So she normally does like loads of hand painted designs and stuff for like her social media or whatever. But like normally it's, hours like it's not a one or two hour thing and like I don't mind at all I love getting my nails done and I love having them done and they last me like six to eight weeks so um so I don't really mind but like look at them they're so ugly like I have man hands but I've got so used to seeing my hands like this now I'm actually gonna be feeling myself and I like we have the design picked already 
I'm gonna go to Starbucks because I'm procrastinating and I wanna keep camera battery for when I'm there. Okay, so I'm outside Starbucks, but it's dri drive through only. So um, that is devastating. Absolutely devastating. Oh my God, I've genuinely never seen the candle section in TK Maxx so empty. What is going on? The apocalypse is here. Like there's nothing. Like obviously there's all these ones, but like nothing. Island, plumeria and pineapple. Mm. Oh my god, there's like no candles. Look at this. Look. Like there obviously are, but like normally this is full. I'm so shook. There's loads of cards though. Just in case anyone wants any. Alright, so that was uh, disappointing say the least the, all the candles were gone there was nothing else really I got my charging cable though in there um, because I saw they had loads in there and I was gonna get an Apple one but then I googled the brand one they had in there and I was like okay that actually sounds good and it was only 12 euro and it's pink so I got that but now I'm really craving a cookie and I don't know where to get one like Maybe I'll go to the little bakery because I've never tried the little bakery and apparently it's amazing. So we might head to the little bakery now and get a cookie because I know there's Tesco here but I think they only sell the cookies in like five packs. Yeah, not quite a successful trip between Starbucks only being open for drive through and TK Maxx having no candles, but we continue to move. Sorry, how come no one told me about little cookies before? Oh my God, little bakery cookies, lads. Get on it. That was unproductive. <laughs> no, it wasn't unproductive, but I had a lovely walk, but like, Starbucks drive through only and TK Maxx no candles and then I got these which I'm very excited for I have never been um, Secret about the fact that I get rid of all the baby hairs on my face You definitely can't see them now, but when the sun's shining on my face, I have like all little blonde baby hairs so I use these little Razory things and I just put oil on my face and like you know shape um, just because I don't like when the sun shines my face, especially on my chin area. You can just see all these baby blonde hairs or with my very strong ring light. So I got those. So that was, they were only like three euro. So I suppose the trip to TK Maxx wasn't too bad. And then I got some cinnamon toast crunch, um, in, uh, Super Value. They have the, all the American stuff. And I got the Lucky Charms single serving, so that's fun. And I think that's all I got, really. I had a really nice walk, though. Um, oh, I got little cookies. I got a little, I got a bag of little cookies, but I only ate one of them because we're not going overboard. <laughs> but it was so good. Like, it was so, so good. Um, yeah, and it's like four o'clock now. So my walk was like three hours. Like I didn't, I haven't been wearing my Fitbit much recently just because I found like, I was, not that I was relying on it, but that I was consistently like checking my steps and doing all this step stuff. And I'm like, I don't need a watch to tell me if I'm being active. I know if I was active throughout the day, you know, that kind of way. And I just, I found it a bit obsessive in my opinion, for me personally. Um, so I stopped wearing it as much, um, but I'd say I did a shit ton of steps there while I was um, walking for the last three hours. But yeah, I'm kind of tired now, but I know I just put a can of Coke Zero in the freezer and I'm gonna get to editing this video. So I think I'm gonna finish it off here because I do have to edit and I do have to record my podcast. So I don't really have time 
to be chatting. And also I don't really have anything else to chat about. I don't know, I feel like I did a lot, but I didn't do a lot, but I did a lot, but I didn't do a lot, you know, that kind of way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I appreciate all of you who adore the Sunday weekly vlogs, who stay till the end. Like the video, comment, share it with your friends, share it with someone who you think would enjoy the vibes. And thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out my Instagram, my podcast, anywhere else I am online, all the links will be in the description. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. See you next week. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Oh.